Hello, everybody, and welcome to another This or That. With Toby welcome, Jack. welcome, welcome. How are you feeling? Great. I'm feeling Pretty good blue today. Yeah, we are very blue are. today. Yeah. They matched our jackets. Yeah, it's time for playoffs. <laughs> Last week was the postseason. That was just relegations. Now, it's the important stuff. Six slides today. Slide number one. All right, let's go. Yeah. This or that, who will carry more? Jensen Ooh. or Someday for the C9 Dig Series this week? Ooh. This is Ooh. the super exciting uh, playoff <laughs> game to start off, just because um, we're in agreement. These teams are closer together. Um, yeah. And especially to me, uh, because of the differences, like where their carry players are, very specifically, Cloud9 is going to try and go mid lane. Jensen versus um, Keen has mm -hmm. historically been very Jensen favored. Meanwhile, not only someday, but I like the bottom lane of Team Team Crash now that Adrian's there too. Yeah, but specifically the question of who will carry more, I think Impact is a good playoff performer. So even if someday has a great game, I don't know if he can carry harder than the potential mismatch in the mid lane between Jensen and Keen. And since I think C9 is going to win the series, that usually means they have the carry. So I'm going with Jensen. Yeah, I, I yes. have also agree just because not only is Impact, um, you know, a very high quality player, but part of his high quality is playing defensively um, mm -hmm. and playing tanks. And it seems like it's going to be more difficult for someday to carry. Jensen, we've seen him snowball incredibly hard. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would lean oh. towards the Jensen as far as who's going to carry harder. But I do think that Dig Class actually have a pretty good chance. Yeah, really excited for this series in general. But we both go with this. Slide number two of this or that. Fizz buff, necessary or unnecessary? Because the Fizz buff is on 716. It's a cooldown reduction to Playful Trickster. Faker played Faker him Faker played it on 715. <laughs> Clearly, Faker's also played a tree or something. I don't know. He's played a candy cane in the mid lane of Infinity. Yeah. Also, uh, the buff is more early game oriented. Um, I think the cooldown like gets less and less of an improvement as far as um, when you put more points mm. into it. Plus, the biggest problem for me for him was mana. When if you try and use that, um, yeah, the cooldown yep. is nice, but um, I don't think it's gonna like make him out of control. Yeah, I don't think it makes him or breaks him. And I think he was a very, very fringe pro pick. I know he's an incredibly frustrating solo queue pick. I know this as I was climbing back up towards, you know, diamond or something, and my wrist was really bad. I could never dodge the skill shot. Yeah. So terrifying. In that case, I'd say unnecessary, but for pro play, necessary? I, I, I think, like seeing him in pro. I think what might help him more are the nerfs to, you know, Orianna and all the other mid laners. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I'm kind of in the middle, but I would say it's more necessary than uh, unnecessary, you know, yeah. give him a little bit of extra love. Uh, Either way. Pogo's thick. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's the one. That's exactly what it's named. Slide number three. Uh, this or that, bigger liability. Ooh! Omar God or Zeroth. This is Lame a good slide. one. Uh, similar to your answer on the last slide, I feel like um, CLG have better odds coming into this. Mm -hmm. uh, so just by the teammates that he has, it's, they'll probably protect Omar more than Envy can you know, do for Seraph. Yeah. What's your definition of liability, though? I right? think... Is that like the reason the team loses? Yes. Or you're feeding your lane, you're you know throwing Baron smites, yeah. something like that. Because I think Envy is much worse as a team. So like, you could have the different top laner and still be fine. Whereas CLG, like if they lose, is it going to be because of Sarah? Versus if CLG loses, will it be because of Omar Gun? Yeah, and I think those yeah. are two actually pretty good choices because Seraph has definitely had some very underwhelming games. Yeah. Uh, Seraph for, has been for Team Envy. He's been just awful. But Omar, Omar has had some where he looks completely yeah. fine, and then some of them where he he you know misses big ultimates or misses big flashes like that yeah. or tower dives. And, and he definitely is a rookie. He's more rookie than Seraph, so uh, the rookie nerves are going to play uh -huh. a part. But even with the rookie you nerves, you gotta make I'm going to go with Seraph as a bigger liability because yeah. I think Darshan can actually, you know, win them the game. And we may have those points where and we've seen blasting in 1v1. And we've seen Omar God versus Lyra, and he was fine. So because of that, I'm going to go with Seraph as well. He's been tough question, for sure, because tough. of what you define as liability. Seraph, Seraph, that, that. Next slide. Of this or that, better ban Jensen's Oriana or Keen's Cassiopeia. This is interesting because on 716, nerf. Oriana is nerfed. 20 damage off her shield at all ranks, as well as, I think, a little bit of W damage. Yeah. So I, I think, think this Keen's is, I think it's a hundred percent a better ban. Even though Jensen doesn't have the biggest of champion pools, mm -hmm. uh, the nerfs to Orianna already are gonna push that yep. priority down a little bit. Whereas 
Dignitas, not only is a great champion for Keen, but they've gotten so many Barons through Cassiopeia DPS, uh, just rotating him over there. So I feel like this is a much better ban. The only tweak to this is going to be if Keen's Azir is better than his Cassiopeia. Uh, <laughs> you think up. those Azir nerfs uh, or buffs so were enough? They're so small, but there's other nerfs as well. That's true. Uh, definitely a better ban, though, because I think he's a totally different player on Cassiopeia. Yeah. So next slide, this or that. We're in agreement today. More likely to win COD and Dig or C9 and Ooh, Envy. Ooh, pair them together. Oh, I like it. This is more likely. Because you think that the Dignitas Cloud9 is closer uh -huh. than the COG Envy exactly. one, and so I'm you're using waiting. the power of logic for mm. this one. Yeah, ah, it's, it's pretty rough because, so going into the last COG versus Envy matchup, I was like, okay, Omar might be a liability, mm -hmm. and Lyra is the perfect jungler to take advantage of him. But COG as a team shut down Lyra, so I'm not, I can't really bank on, on that again, um, mm -hmm. on that happening. And I kind of have to agree with you, even though I do think Cloud9, uh, you know, have a slight advantage versus Team Dignitas. Yeah. If it's around the mid lane, uh, I am, I would slightly edge towards CLG and yeah. Dig partnering up. There's always the CLG lore of being counter logic and losing when you least expect it, but I feel like they got this one in the bag. Right, Kobe? All right, final slide, probably the <laughs> meme slide. This is six, unless I've miscounted. What you're telling me is Dad has faith. All random Earth champ, Yasuo or Udyr? I haven't gotten them on AR Earth because I haven't played it. I haven't also, played Udyr in a year. I feel like I feel like Yasuo would be the worst one because he has almost no cooldowns to begin with, whereas Udyr at least can spam it faster. So, And you still get bonus attack speed on that map. Cooldown reduction, so, yeah, doesn't really help Yasuo that much. Uh, in the first place. In the first place. Yeah. Attack speed, and he's attack resourceful. speed is what he really likes. I think um, it's definitely Yasuo. Worse, I think it is Yasuo. Uh, Uder actually seems like he'd be fine. I think he'd be pretty good, Yeah. because it's done. CC is huge on that map. Yeah. Yeah, bear stance to everybody. Slap and, and he benefits from changing stances so much. Yeah, so. sweet, Udyr. easy. There you go. Build a blood razor, go tanky. Quick day. All random. Yesterday, or last time we did this, we disagreed on like more than half the slides. Yeah. But this time was smooth. It's because we dressed the same. Yeah. It yeah. means we're on the we're same We're in accord. Day. Yeah, exactly, this or that. Thank you, and uh, join us next time. Yeah, quarterfinals we'll this weekend, semifinals, we'll be hype.